You ever want to know what hardware is inside a computer, motherboard, CPU, memory, and not have to open the box? There's a simple way to do that. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show, and I often come upon systems and don't know what's in them. The customer wants to upgrade them. They want to do something, you know, make it faster, whatever, and I need to know what's inside the box. So there's an easy way to do that. But first, let's have you head on over to my YouTube channel, Tom's Tech Show. Uh, bit.ly slash Tom's Tech Show will take you right to this page. And look through all the videos. There's over 300 videos on various subjects. Uh, so if you find something that you like, go ahead, watch it, like, share, subscribe, all those different things. And I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. Okay, so... Often I'll get this customer that, you know, I need more memory. I want to upgrade the processor on this system. What do I do? Well, the first thing I'll do is I'll head over to CPUID.com and we will download this program right here called CPU-Z. Now, CPU-Z has been around for a long time. There's actually an Android version you can run on your phone, uh, but it's been around for a long time, been updated many times over the years, does a lot shows a lot of information. Let's bring it up right now. Boom, here we go. This is my computer that I'm running here. Um, so you can see it's got the processor speed that it's running at. Um, I've got, uh, it's an Intel Pentium Gold, Coffee Lake, tells me all that information. Um, we could look here at the uh, main board. So this is gonna tell me, okay, I've got a gigabyte. Motherboard, the model even is the H310M. And if I want to know what what memory I can put in there, what RAM I could possibly put in there, and, and all that, I can then go right to the Gigabyte website, look up an H310M, and it's going to give me the list of all the compatible hardware. If I want to find out what memory is in there, here we've got DDR4, 16 gigabytes of memory inside this box. And if I even want to look at, coming over here to the speed, we can actually look at... Uh, what's in the different slots. So slot one and three are populated with eight gig sticks. So we've got 16 gigs of memory in this system. So it makes it pretty easy. You can look at the graphics card, see what kind of graphics card is inside. Um, you can do some benchmarking uh, if you want. They've added many features to this little program over the years. It's been really, really good. And I use this just as a basic toolkit all the time when I go around trying to you know what's in this server, what's in this system. And stuff just to get the basic, uh, basic stuff about what's in what's in there. So um, you can also, if we move this up a little bit, one thing that is also handy, come down here, save report as a text file or save it as an HTML file. So now I can take that and have it with me. I can email that to myself. I can save that in some notes, um, whatever, and keep that. So when I, you know, leave the customer site and say, what computer was that? You know, I can just go back to that report and say, oh, this it's this computer. And that, you know, be able to easily look up what information I need to get for that. All right, there we go. That's a really quick video today on what you can do to find out what's inside of a computer, laptop, whatever, so that you can plan on upgrading, anything like that. All right, pretty easy. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.